Hey folks, this video covers editing basics. Let's get started by creating a thumbnail image. These are great for YouTube and they're good to include at the beginning of your video. I'm using Storyboard Pro to create a generic image, but you can use any software you like. File Export Layout Images will help you save a finished product. I'm using the colors from my thumbnail image to animate an intro to my video. The letters will be moving, so I'll sketch them in three separate frames of animation. After doubling the exposure, I'll shift click all of the frames of animation and will right click to create a cycle. File Export Movie will help me save the final video clip. In this segment, I'll make an outro section to the video. Using the same technique, I'll create some moving letters. The title and illustration will go in the background layer so that they stay stationary. I'll animate the subtitles and the names of the artists. Don't forget to give attribution if you sample somebody else's music. And as mentioned before, File Export Movie will help you save your video clip. Alright folks, so here is a super quick demo on how to go and use Premiere Rush. So once you have all of your stuff assembled, what I would do is uh, just go and select the content that you want. So I'm going to start by selecting the intro clip. I'm going to select this motion test clip and I'm going to do the outro clip as well. I'm going to save this title card for YouTube, not going to worry about it, and I'm going to hit create. All right, so all of that essential content that I made at the beginning of this video is right here in a rough cut. And what I need to do is to organize this in a way so I can share and export the video and, you know, do what I need to do with it. So first things first, with editing, you have this ability to trim or to cut your actual clips. And what's nice about um, Adobe Rush is that even if you lose some of that material or you, you throw it away, you can go click and drag and adjust it and it goes back to the original length of the content clip. I'm just going to shorten this so it's, you know, just a few seconds or so. And there we go. I can hit the play button to see if it plays appropriately. And that feels like a, a good amount of time for that clip. I can also click on the clip single left click and then you can see these handles show up it's pretty handy you're able to go and shrink and rotate and to move this actual thing right here this uh, video clip and you can bring in additional ones as well but we'll save that for an advanced editing video in the future now with this second clip that's right here Notice that I had it originally set up on a square aspect ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this down to size. And since this is um, a motion test, it's a good idea to play this at least a few times, especially if I'm gonna have additional motion tests. Um, this played so quickly that I was not really able to register how well it played. So what I'm gonna do is select this artwork uh, this video clip and then go to the duplicate button and I'm going to duplicate it three times. Let's go watch that again and see if it stays on screen long enough to really register. Three or four times is probably good. If I have additional uh, motion clips I can go add those as well but I think we're just about good. Now what I'm going to do is go to the outro clip that I made. That seems like it played long enough and all I really need to do now is to go back to my media so I'm going to go and hit that plus sign, go to my media, and find the audio clip that I had, which is right over here in the folder. I'm going to click the add button, and now I've got everything that I want. I've got my intro animation, I've got my motion tests, I've got my outro animation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the animation, drag the playhead here. I'm going to select the audio clip and hit the cut button and then I could take that extra piece and delete it and I'm just about done. So before I go and 
hit the share button and export this, I just want to point out that on the right side there are a bunch of different features um, with uh, the way you adjust the way stuff looks, the way you put transitions, how you adjust the speed and timing of your clips, audio, and how you crop the images. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that I'd strongly recommend that you explore. So go give that a shot. But uh, let's end this video real quick. I'm going to hit the share button, give this thing a name, and then a location, and I'm going to press the export button. And that's it. That's how you edit a video. Some final words on editing. You want to stay organized as you assemble the material that you present. You also want to think about the experience that you're producing, so you need to be highly critical of every single frame you show. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.